you should take it, take it and tone it up on it. You hold on to it, tone it up a little bit. I like. That. Okay, guys, we're gonna get started. Turn up a nail bit halfway, a nail bit to the top, just a little. Okay, that's enough. No, I'm pausing. I'm pausing. What are you doing? Sorry about that, guys. I have to forgive my brother. Once here. there was the most beautiful place in town a place where rabbits and chickens oh. live together in perfect harmony. I will not be able to heal anything. It's not perfect. Beyond the lovely meadows and merrily brook were swamps and badlands, where creatures worked and watched and waited. And when everyone in the big town was sleeping, one little fellow in particular tried his very best to watch over his friends. His name was Good Gracious Grasshopper. Now I 
gotcha, you miserable demon. <laughs> Lovely day to shop. 
wish I could run that fast. But I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> I knew you'd love them. That's perfect. What do I owe you? You don't have to pay me now, Miss Tessie. Would you like me to send you a bill? Oh, <laughs> I would love you to send me a bill. Or a Bob. Or a Charlie. What could you make sure he's handsome? <laughs> Yes, and not speaking? Miss Tessie, are, are you ashamed you robbed a shop last night? She admits it. She, she confessed to the whole thing. The fuck brain is all over her shawl. That's pro. I'm afraid I have no choice but to arrest you, Miss Tessie. You'll have to come with me. Back up, everyone. Back to work now. Let's go, folks. Move it along. If you won't come along on your own accord, Miss Tessie, we'll just have to carry you off to jail. You will notice, class, that the only way to weaken your dangerous fourth body, Violet, is to pluck out all the flowers. That's it. No more talking. No more laughing. No more misbehaving. Nothing. We will all be back here tomorrow. I don't care if it is a holiday. Who wants to be responsible for ruining a day? Go ahead. Speak up. Now, I want it absolutely quiet in here until the bell rings. No more nonsense. Good afternoon, teachers and students. This is your headmaster, Benedict Bunny, speaking. I school will be closed tomorrow for egg day. Now, form a single line. No talking in line. No pushing. Stop laughing. No humming. We can stand here all day, you know. I wish
Harry. I hope I don't get her next year. I have to laugh. She's so mean. She hates everyone. She doesn't hate big, boring, Benedict Bunny. Hi, I can hear you. Hi. Hi is the opposite of low, young man. Good afternoon. I need Tessie brought the bake shop last night. She totally destroyed the bake shop. The bakers were up all night cleaning the place. I can't believe it. You could be so stupid. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Miss Tessie could never. She's already in jail. What's the deal, Plucky? Excuse me. But have you all lost your minds? Do you really believe Miss Tessie robbed Boss Baker's shop last night? Yes, we believe it. Boss Baker saw her do it. He recognized her shop. There was fluff cream all over her. That proves it. That only proves that Boss Baker isn't any smarter now than he was when I had him in the sixth grade. Hi. I mean, good afternoon, Miss Harriet. It is not a good afternoon, Mr. Baker. I understand you have told half the town and Sergeant O'Hare that Miss Tessie robbed your store last night? She, she did. She did not. And she would not, Mr. Baker, because, well, first, she just would not. And second, she could not, Mr. Baker, because Miss Tessie does not venture out at night, because she cannot see well at night, and because she is scared half to death of tickets. Remember tickets, Mr. Baker? Those lazy and thieving old birds that live in the swamp? They don't work. They take whatever they need. Think about it, Mr. Baker. I, 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 I saw her shawl. She, she, she was, it was her shawl. Her shawl had been worn by someone else, Mr. Baker. Uh, uh, we, we asked her if she robbed the shop, and, and she shook her head yes, like this, like this. Mr. Baker, when poor tiny Tessie gets scared in the least, she forgets how to speak, and her head bobs up and down. It is called shaking, Mr. Baker. Shaking from being so frightened of tickets and other idiots who accuse her of crimes she could not possibly commit. Do you think tiny Tessie can run faster than you, Mr. Baker? Do you think tiny Tessie could throw a pie hard enough to knock you over, Mr. Baker? Do you think tiny Tessie could knock over a great big pastry cabinet, Mr. Baker? Do you think you should run over to the jailhouse immediately and tell Sergeant O'Hare you made a mistake, Mr. Baker? No more nodding, Mr. Baker. Just be on your way. Miss Harriet, I, would, I, I was wondering if you could uh, come to my... I really need to go. Are you all right? Those children were awful. I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Headmaster Benedict heard the whole thing. They were singing that horrible... Horrible Harriet hair song the entire time he was speaking to me. Don't they know I have feelings too? Well, Headmaster Benedict Bunny is never going to like or fall in love with anyone who is called Horrible Harriet Hair. Sometimes I think he only goes out with me because he feels sorry for me. I wish he could get to know me, the real me. Lately I've been thinking about you And I'm wondering, do you think of me? Are you even happy I know you? Am I what you need or just what you see? Hello? Oh, hi, Mother. 
No, I will not be bringing Miss Harriet to dinner tonight. I did not chicken out, Mother. She was busy. She was very busy. I know I've said that before. No one's getting any younger, Mother. That would be impossible. Yes, I will ask her another time. I agree. I, I think if she got to know me, she, she might like me, but... I don't think she's sitting home just waiting for me to ask her to dinner. Look, I am not perfect at all, Mother. And I know there are those who call me big, boring, bad, and funny when they think I can't hear. No, Mother, I, I am not cute. I, I am an adult, and I am big, and I am boring. I do not want you to invite her for me. I will invite her myself when, when the time is right. Maybe on our picnic tomorrow. Yes, I, I, I know it's the ninth year in a row. I, I love you too, Mother. Well, I can spend another night practicing my piano. I just wish Miss Harriet here and I could get to know each other better. But why would any creature as lovely as Miss Harriet here fall in love with a big, boring Benedict Bunny? Maybe if Miss Harriet just got to know me. You don't know me. You say I am boring. The
Ugh. Oh, it's no use. I can't do anything with my ear. Either one of them. And on this of all days, I'm having a bad ear day. What? Too serious. I look like I'm going to a funeral. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, this doesn't fit right. Oh. Okay. Like I said, you can take a copy. Copy something. Well, do you like it? Too goofy. Oh. Oh, why didn't you say so? Thank you very much. I appreciate your honesty. Why don't you just say it? I look horrible. Well, of course I look horrible. I'm horrible, Harriet. I don't even want to go. Anyone as wonderful and intelligent as Headmaster Benedict is never going to fall in love with me. You want to align something that's okay. Oh, yeah. You want to line up what this fine is. Quiet. I can't. I can't think. I can't think what all you dumb clucks yakking. I see that none of you have a brain between you. Good morning, Headmaster Benedict. I'm big and I'm not late, am I? Heavens, no. You're right on time. I admire promptness. I was just reading the newspaper. Let me get my things.